ministry. Well, there's a lot of challenges. As you know, all the works are challenges. All the, I think all, everything has challenge in life. And if I will start to explain the challenges I went through, yo, there's a lot. Because if, if, if you've been following the things that I've been doing, it's like I'm trying to bring something different. The more days it goes, the more I'm going to bring something different. So that to prove to people that everything is possible, yeah, like when it comes to music, people used to think that there's no way you can work with Nigerian artists. And I had to feel that, show them like it's possible. At the time, South Africa think that there's no way you can, maybe we can have better video, we can shoot video in South Africa, whatever. I had to prove that we can do it. At the time, they thought maybe there's no way we can work with American artists and say we can do it. So, doing them, yo, it takes, yo. It's very hard, it's not that easy. As I said, like, if you want me to explain to you right now, I don't think if we can get done now. Okay, Diamond, uh, this should be actually my last question, but I choose it to be my first question. Sure. What legacy do you want to leave? Well, the only legacy that I would love to leave in this world, the day that I go, is like I was trying my level best to fight for our music industry. That's the only thing I want people to remember. And apart from fighting for, I wasn't selfish that I wanted to look like, oh, that was the one who got all of it. I also tried to help other kids from the street so, so that together we can make it. That's and the only thing I want them to think about. With all the things you're up to, yeah. do you have any other project cropping up, like in film or in anything? I still get a lot of dreams that I need to achieve. To fulfill, and I think that's the main reason why I, I started my uh, radio station and TV station because this can make it more easy to uh, to help and to uh, to bring more stuff to the vision that I have. Because some, sometimes it's about vision, I have vision, and, and through the media, it's very easy for you to show the vision that we have to do. So I still get a lot of projects, and people should be ready for them. I'm sure there may be something interesting. Your album, A Boy from Tandale, being uh, uh, inspired by where you grow, grew up, mm. uh, briefly, kindly tell us how hard was life in Tandale? Yeah, it was very hard and it's still hard until today. Although I'm trying to make it easy, you, you, you will never take like a day or like a month because uh, it's a little bit big place and creating a system that can be able to change the life. It takes some time, but I'm trying. And, but the first thing that I've, I'm sure that I've tried to do to prove to my Tandalese that everything can be possible. Because from where I came from, nobody expected that maybe I may be here. So first of all, it proves to them that no matter where you come from, no matter what you do, as long as you work so hard, as long as you become more creative, respect everybody, you pray so hard, you can make it. So it doesn't matter how small audience that you have, how crazy person that you are, but if you still focus, you can get it. In Kenya, we have so many artists doing uh, different genres, and especially... Please. Cold and temperature. Temperature. Wait, can you remove the... Yeah. Mm. And especially, we have a lot of gospel artists. Do you expect your, your brand, WCB, to also sign artists from different genres, from gospel music as well? Of course, we're not because we don't discriminate. As long as uh, I don't know, I have to follow about the how the rules when it comes to the gospel. I mean, first, so that I won't be out of the rules. Because I mean, as you know, like I'm from a totally different type of music, so I have to see how can we control that and how can we uh, how can we like take it to the next level in a very good way. And it won't look like, oh, now they are trying to spoil this type of music. So I have to sit down with my team in a very nice moment and see how we can do that. But it's possible. Okay, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you.